Tonight, heartbreaking developments in Quinton following a gas drilling rig explosion. Families and friends now reeling after five bodies are found. It's one of those things you don't expect and are never ready for. Right now at five, live team coverage from Quinton as loved ones in small towns remember the men lost. And good evening to you. It has been another difficult day in Pittsburgh County. This morning, authorities moved from a rescue to recovery mission following a gas well explosion on Monday. And then this afternoon, they found the bodies of the five men missing at the blast site. And we've learned the names of those men. They are Roger Cunningham of Seminole, Oklahoma, Matt Smith of McAllister, Josh Ray of Fort Worth, Texas, and Cody Risk of Wellington, Colorado. Not pictured is Parker Waldridge of Crescent, Oklahoma. So we are working for you with team coverage tonight. We are hearing from some of the people who knew the men best. First, we start with reporter Megan Allison. She is in Quentin with the ongoing investigation. Megan. Well, Brian, emergency management here says they've never seen anything like this happen before. Now they're working with OSHA in an investigation to prevent a tragedy of this magnitude from happening again. When we first spoke with first responders this afternoon, they tell us that for those who were able to make it out, it was a narrow escape. I don't know that it's totally sunk in yet, to be honest with you. It, it, it's very overwhelming. It took hours to shut off gas and let flames die down before bringing the medical examiners on site. Tuesday afternoon, an investigation began and the five bodies were found in a landing area. The Pittsburgh County Sheriff says survivors are in shock. From what I was told from many of the survivors, there was an explosion. They heard a loud boom. They seen fire and begin and they ran. Just everybody was trying to survive. Emergency management says the one man transported for burns on Monday only barely escaped the flames, getting down from the top of the facility just in time. And they have what's called a zip line that they go down. And uh, in case of something like this was to happen, that's their emergency escape to get off the rig. And, and that's what he used is, is that zip line to get out. On Tuesday, crews confirmed their fears that the five men died in the area where the explosion likely began. The bodies were pretty much uh, located in the area that they were presumed to have been working in, last working in, and it's like what they call the doghouse. Uh, so it's it was just a deal, you know, it was so hot in that area that had been where the fire would have been initially started is in that area. The cause is still unknown and OSHA will likely be joined by other federal agencies to investigate in the days ahead. This is a new drill site that has not experienced a fire in the past, but emergency teams do not believe there's a risk to the public. Those locations are, are designed to contain as much as, as possible. <coughs> onto that location. Um, at this time, I, w I wouldn't comment as to if, if, uh, if anything has left location. Earlier today, Patterson Management says they have experienced safety violations over the past few years. However, they're considered to be leaders in safety for their industry. Reporting live in Quinton, Megan Allison, Two Works For You. All right.